industry came to the college um, in 1999 and they were having difficulty uh, um, finding qualified operators. Their employees were reluctant to make process changes on the, on the board because they weren't sure of what all the ramifications were. Uh, we were able to put together a program that concentrated on ethanol production. The model that we used to develop this program was to bring in industry experts and have them do presentations in their uh, areas of expertise. We have three disciplines within the ethanol industry and they're biology, chemistry, and process control. So we targeted individuals who could give us the biology, who could give us the chemistry. Uh, we had engineers from Fagan and ICM who came in and talked about distillation. As far as process control, uh, that was an area we're really lacking in, and uh, luck would have it, Novatech um, contacted me after uh, a presentation in Sioux Falls, South Dakota at a National Ethanol Convention. Um, I was very excited about that because that really wrapped the third component that we needed, and that simulator is probably the best hands-on tool uh, in the entire ethanol industry for training operators. How low of a level do you have to go to? To, to empty it? Well, it just says lower. It doesn't say empty. No, lower. The simulator? And you usually take it down to about It's times. about the closest thing you can come to running an actual plant. It will give a prospective employee an upper hand, a big upper hand in getting into a better position right away. I came up here just for the simulator alone. My, uh, before I graduated in 2006, my uh, high school teacher found the school up here, said it was the best one. They just got the simulator and uh, nobody else had it. So we are in the energy revolution. Yeah. I mean, uh, we went through the industrial revolution, we're going into an energy revolution. We've already begun a uh, development of a biodiesel curriculum when we start to use biomass to make ethanol that will go to a, a thermochemical platform. Um, so we'll incorporate those technologies as, as they become commercially viable and, and really lead the industry in training. Anything else you want to say? Go Novatech. <laughs> <laughs>